What's going on everybody? Mike from Talk to the Mike here with another review. And this time we're doing another animated, just like I did with Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This one's from 2010. Another one that I really enjoy. It's called Batman Under the Red Hood over here. And this one's a really good one. I really enjoy this one. It's a little more dark. Uh, came out in 2010. Uh, it's got uh, Batman. It's got uh, it's, well, the synopsis of the movie. We'll, we'll just go straight into that. Uh, the Joker was hired by Ra's al Ghul to distract Batman. So what he does, he takes he takes Robin, who is Jason Todd. At the time, he's the second Robin over Nightwing, over Dick Grayson, and he's just beating him up and he's torturing him and he's making Batman go save him. Uh, at the end of it all, Batman doesn't make it on time. And Jason Todd dies. That's the death of Jason Todd, which is what happens if you look, if you watch uh, Batman vs Superman, the movie. There's a jokes on you with the, the Joker with the uh, Robin costume. Now, five years later, Batman is just working. He doesn't he doesn't have you know he's just alone. Doesn't want no more partner because he's scared that you know Nightwing's still around, but he doesn't consider him a partner anymore. He's his own superhero. And then this new character, the Red Hood, starts coming in, interrupting the Mafia, uh, trying to take over, doing what Batman does, but with no uh, moral ground. So instead of just stopping people, he kills them. And then Batman tries to figure out who he is, and later on we find out that it's Jason Todd, who is the Red Hood. Spoiler alert for that one real quick, but if you've seen this movie, you know. Uh, then they have a little bit of a scuffle, they have battle, he blames uh, everybody for his death. Uh, he came back to life because of the Lazarus Pit. Uh, from Ra's al Ghul. Now, uh, at the end of it all, he wants to revenge on Joker, and yeah, at the end, it's a really good movie. I really enjoy this one. Now, we're going to start dipping in some of the scenes I like. Now, the first scene is split in two. It's uh, the actual scene where Tony Todd dies. Uh, Jason, Tony Todd, I keep getting them mixed up with uh, Candyman. Jason Todd dies. So the first half is just the Joker beating him up, and then uh, the second half, well, we're going to get back to that second half after. Uh, it's uh, the actual what happens, how uh, it happens. So we're just going to go, and I'm going to show you the first half right now, and we'll be right back. Wow, that looked like it really hurt. Whoa, now hang on. That looked like it hurt a lot more. So, let's try and clear this up, okay, pumpkin? What hurts more, A or B? Forehand or backhand? A little louder, lab chop. I think you may have a collapsed lung. That always impedes the auditory. Now that was rude. The first boy blunder had some manners. I suppose I'm going to have to teach you a lesson so you can better follow in his footsteps. Man, I'm just gonna keep beating you with this crowbar. <laughs> okay, so now you see the Joker is just hitting them with the crowbar, hitting them with the crowbar, hitting them with the crowbar. Now the second half is the how how Jason Todd dies. So let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, so you see, you know, Batman tried to make it on time, didn't make it on time, but, you know, he's, he's, he's only human. It's true, Batman's human. Now, the second scene I really enjoy is uh, when uh, there's a mob meeting, and it, it is the Red Hood, it is Jason Todd who made the mob meeting, and he describes, he tells everybody what's going to be now. So the first half of the scene is just him introducing himself. So let's take a look at that for a second. It's my meeting. It's him, Batman. We didn't do nothing. Well, we all know that's a lie. Who the hell are you? Mock him! I said sit down. You want to die? There's easier ways to kill yourself. Yeah, like yelling at the guy who's holding the AK-47. Pretty good way to introduce yourself. And now the second half is what he wants from the mob bosses. This is what makes him different than, than Batman. He wants to be Batman, but he's got a different mindset. So let's look at that. Listen to me, you drug peddling scumbags. I will be running the drug trade from now on. You eight are the most prosperous street dealers in Gotham. I'm offering you morons a deal. 
You go about your business as usual, but kick up 40% to me. That's a much sweeter deal than the scraps Black Mask is leaving you. In return, you will have total protection from both Black Mask and Batman. But you stay away from kids in schoolyards. No dealing to children, got it? If you do, you're dead. Okay, crazy man, this is all very generous. But why the hell should we listen to you? Damn. Those are the heads of all your lieutenants. That took me two hours. You want to see what I can get done in a whole evening? Make no mistake, I'm not asking you to kick in with me. See, there you go. See, different mindset, different attitude, 40%. And, he, and then on top of that, Batman would never cut off the heads of other people. But he shows that he's not like Batman. He's more strict. Now, the next thing, the next scene I want to show you, it's a quick one. It's just when Batman realizes, finally, the match between the Red Hood and Jason Todd with DNA. So let's take a look at that real quick. So you have it now he knows who it is but now he's gonna see he remembers him being dead now the final scene that i enjoy is the the, uh, the the final scene the fight scenes now how batman finally finds out well well pretty much the red hood takes his, his mask off and reveals himself as jason todd to batman so that's that's kind of cool so here's that first half right now Look at you. I guess we should keep it even. Jason. Yes. I don't want to fight you. All evidence to the contrary. And now we got the fight scene going on. It's a long fight scene, but I chose a really interesting little section for this. So we're going to look at that real quick. Uh, it shows both of them wearing all black, like Batman's always wearing black, but Red Hood, black as Robin, used to always wear color, it represents him, different attitude, I think, in a way. So it's kind of interesting how that works. But later on in that scene, too, the Joker is there, they're doing, they're, it's like pretty much reenacting the whole scene, just in a different point of view, as instead of Robin being tied up, or uh, Red Hood, Jason Todd, it's uh, Joker, and at the end it happens all the same thing. So, and then at the end, well, we'll take a look at that scene first, and I'll finish the rest. It's over! You say you want to be better than me, but it won't happen. Not like this! I know I failed you, but I tried to save you, Jason. I'm... I'm trying to save you now. Is that what you think this is about? That you let me die? I don't know what clouds your judgment worse. Your guilt or your antiquated sense of morality. And there you have it. There's that, that, that scene. It's an emotional scene. And then at the, end, at the end of it all, an explosion. There's a little spoiler alert right there for people who haven't seen this movie. You should go check it out. It's, uh, and it happens the same thing. Joker's still alive. Batman's alive. But Jason Todd's gone. And the way it ends is uh, he has a flashback. Batman has a flashback when, Ryan, uh, when Alfred says, do you want me to get rid of the costume now? He says no. He has a flashback of how Robin's first, uh, well, Jason Todd's first outing as Robin, the costume and everything. So it's a good movie. It's an emotional movie for some people, but for an animated movie, it's a little emotional. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. Uh, it's more dark. I like I like more darker DC animated as opposed to more happy-go-lucky PG stuff. Uh, there's going to be there's, there's many more movies with that. Red Hood has now become a, a, a stable character in a lot of the comics. I think he's also in Titans now too. It's again Jason Todd, same thing. Uh, the comic book, the com like this, this, this comes from a comic book adaptation of the thing too. So the comic book right over here. Uh, I like the costume of the Red Hood. Uh, he takes it over because at one point I think a couple of characters were the Red Hood, uh, including the Joker's version of the Red Hood. He was Red Hood at one point too. 
So uh, I said, I recommend this. Uh, I really, I really do enjoy, like, I recommend this movie. This one's a really good one too. So this one's got my recommendation. Uh, you can still buy it everywhere. It's still really good. I think it's on streaming platforms as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this one I give, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I give it a five star because I really do enjoy this movie. I like the animated ones. Uh, and Batman ones are pretty good. There's a couple of Superman ones too I'll be doing. and But for, for now, these are really good. I really enjoy this one. Um, just the way the, 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 the writing was. They did a good job with the comic, the, the drawings, the animation. Uh, it was all around good for 2010. Uh, it's got amazing ratings, amazing reviews. On top, on top of mine, it's got more amazing reviews. Uh, actors are pretty good actors in it too that do the voices. And uh, yeah, it's just really good. And it's got the Batman costume that I enjoy, the all black. I'm not a big fan of, like I said, if you watch my one for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Batman, he's got the blue costume. I don't like the blue costume too much. I like more of the darker Batman costume. Even without the yellow, just plain black, I enjoy that. So. But again, do recommend this movie. You should actually go check it out. You won't be sorry. You'll enjoy it. And all the other ones I'm going to be putting up too. So thanks again for watching again too. Again, continue your support. It's always good. Really do enjoy you guys watch this. And as I said, if there's any movies you want me to review, let me know. Short films, let me review. Uh, you can always get a hold of me on all these social media platforms over here. Uh, you can even email me at talktothemike at hotmail.com. And I always reply. You send me an email, I will reply. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.